Okay, to get started on this project, first thing's going to have to happen is this lid's going to have to come off. This is my fresh water tank, and as I shared with you in another video, um, I filled this, then discovered I had water leak on the other side of the trailer, which would be where the gray water tank is. So now I need to drain this out, and then I'm going to remove it, clean it out, and then I'm going to stack it back here. I'll be opening this slot up. And then I'll be standing it up in here. So it would look like this, basically. It will go into that space. Okay, and then the idea is, obviously, that seating area goes away. And then that frees up that space to be used for something else. So let's get into it. You know when you get that feeling you're about to start into something and you wonder if you should? That's where I'm at right now. Kind of like there's no turning back from here, so let's just get started. Uh, first thing you got to do is find the... Remember, this video is for beginners, guys and ladies. So I don't know crap about interior work, as I've mentioned before. So I'm just going to start it off just like... You know, we're all in this together, starting from the beginning. So you got to find the tool. Just this simple little set from Walmart. Probably 15 bucks, I would guess. And we can get going. Just like that, we're underway. All right, that starts it. Next thing I'm going to do is go up into my cupboard and grab a container that I saved because, well, I'm a thrifty kind of guy and... I save stuff. I think I'm going to use the old fresh cilantro salsa as a container. So don't forget, keep all of your parts and record everything. That's what I'm going to suggest because maybe later on you might need to refer back to where you put something. So, first step is done. Now let's get to draining this water tank. So what we're going to do is, I'm not going to flush this out through the gray water. We're going to go through the drain plug at the bottom if I can get this open. If I sneak my camera in there, you see that valve and that goes straight down. I'll show you where that goes. So from here where we fill the tank, down below that. Okay, down below that you'll see right here. That's it. That's simple. So i got to move some of my stuff out of the way. Obviously we don't want to get that wet. so. Get that out of the way, and then I'll see if I can open the plug. Actually, maybe just move or use a bucket, <laughs> and I can haul it away. Another thing I forgot to mention, since I don't really know what I'm doing, you may not either. Anytime I see wires, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the breakers. Even though we have a power outage here in Maine right now, you never know when that gets restored, everything comes online. And if there's something in there exposed, some bare wire that could zap me, just might as well turn it off now, right? All right, let's move on. All right, in spite of my efforts, that thing is so old. It's just like melted plastic is what it feels like. I'm not going to take a chance of twisting that, breaking it, and then this area floods out. Because you can see all my wood here looks good. I don't have any rot. And so, I, since I'm already leaking on the other side of the trailer, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the water pump run this through the gray water the gray water tanks already empty anyway and I'm just gonna open up the valve just like you're dumping into your sewer tank I'm just gonna open that up and get rid of this fresh water okay back inside I have the valve open so I'm gonna go to the water pump turn this on sorry if you've been following along you know that I removed the sink and I ended up plugging uh, the inlet. That's the hot water and the cold water is up there. So I wanted to make sure first I didn't have any leaks while the water pumps on. So I'm using the bathroom sink to drain that tank that I just showed you. We'll see how it's doing. So remember this is the back corner of my trailer that's what's happening so when the water pumps on there's a gush coming out here 
and it's going to keep doing that basically until that is empty. So again, if you're new, remember you all that when you're boondocking, that's when you don't have power. You're not connected to any power. There's some certain things that will continue to work and run off of your battery. I only have one deep cycle battery that I've got from Walmart. That's it. That will run your water pump so that you can run your sink, your toilet, I'm sorry, your toilet, your sinks, your shower. With no electricity, remember you have a gas stove, hopefully. And if yours comes with a functioning refrigerator that's supposed to switch over to LP like mine is, that for whatever reason has a check light on, anyway, you should be able to go without power. As a side note, remember, you won't be able to use any of your household outlets. So if you're trying to use um, the power outlets to power up your devices like your cell phone or tablet, or laptop you will not be able to do that and that's why I made the other video showing this setup using a portable power pack using an inverter see the other video I have for that I'll link to it and then plugging that into your device okay now I'm beginning to hear a strange sound that rumbling coming down there. I'm gonna guess that means the tank is about empty. Then I just checked it, it is almost empty. So what's concerning about that is it means that somehow that tank that was full drained off. Not good. Yeah, we're getting down to the end. Just some air, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off now. Okay. Okay, now back outside. Looks like it's still draining out the rest of whatever was in there. So, since I'm going into winter, I decided not to peel away the skin. So, in other words, don't take this off and go inside. I'm going to try to do it from the inside by taking out all the cabinets and taking a look at it that way. So now it's just down to flathead and let's go ahead and get these disconnected. All right, I disconnected. Now it looks like I've got a couple of obstacles. You'll notice here there's some wires. And I believe that that goes over to here. I believe that monitors fresh water and lets you know uh, what level you're at. So I had to get those wires disconnected. Hence making sure the power is off, right? What do you do when a hose wants to be difficult? Bust out the knife. Let's get in there. Yeah, that one doesn't want to let go. All right, it's off. I underestimated how tough this hose is though. I couldn't get that knife in there to cut it. So I just had to use some brute strength and just go ahead and pull it off. All right, when you go to take the tank out, you uh, might experience that there's still a little water left in the tank. If you're like me, you keep old t-shirts and stuff, just throw that down and clean up your mess. So now that that's out, that's basically the idea of what I have, having it go underneath that counter, right back there. And of course, all that seating is gonna be removed, so I think it should work out fine. We'll see. now. Just got to remove the wires I told you about. They're down here, so it's easier access now anyway. Let's get those off, and we'll take this tank outside. Okay, wiring's all disconnected. So far, I have to tell you, this project's been going very, very easy. So don't forget, put your screws away into your fresh cilantro salsa bucket. And record it. Remember, you might need that later on. Okay, water tank removed. That's the first part. Fresh water tank out. Okay, so I'm thinking as I'm going, but next step it seems to me would be to 
figure out what comes out next. And it looks like these trim pieces might reveal a secret. Let's pull these out. Uh, nah, it looks like staples. I'm guessing some of that's going to have to be pried out of here, unfortunately. But I'll investigate. Okay, when you don't have a workbench or a shop, this has to do. The back of the truck. There we go. We'll empty her out that way. How about that way? That should do it.